Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Hills Healer Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now. So whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for the soul sign of Leo. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Leo placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the Soul Joiner family. So this is all about the energy vibration for the week of January the 9th through the 15th, 2022. I trust that this message finds you in sound mind, body, and spirit. And I just want to say thank you to all of my current subscribers. Thank you for allowing me to do readings for you. I am truly honored and I am truly grateful. So let's go ahead and tap into the energy vibration from July, from July, from J that's your season, from the energy of um, June the 9th. Oh, June, why do I keep saying that? Okay, from the energy of January, January the 9th through the 15th. 2023. So there could be something that's culminating or coming together for you in the summer, Leo, right around your time and your season. So just be mindful of that. And there's also the energy vibration of 2023, which I am coining, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. There's this energy vibration that you want to be ready for all of the opportunities and blessings that are coming in for the year. So if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready and you can monopolize on all of the beautiful blessings that are going to be coming in. So let's take a look and see what is this energy for the beautiful soul sign of Leo for January the 9th through the 15th, 2023. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. You want to make sure that you always come to these readings with your soul journey journal so that you can write down your journaling prompts, your affirmations, and your soul work for the week. So your energy vibration is rest and rejuvenation, an energy of 19. It's an energy of cleansing and renewal with that sun energy. It's also an energy that talks about healing. So there's some form of rest and rejuvenation that you're going to be going through this week. And it aligns with your energy, with your Leo energy and the sun. So let's see, how is this energy going to be coming through for you for the week of January the 9th through the 15th? 2023. What are the additional messages for the beautiful soul sign of Leo? What does Leo need to know, Spirit, for their highest vibrational good for January the 9th through the 15th, 2023? For Leo. Messages for Leo. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I trust that this message finds you in sound mind, body, and spirit. Coming in for you on Monday, Leo, there's a little bit of a conflict here, needing to make a decision about something. This is a difficult decision usually because it usually pulls at your heart and your mind. It's a mind over heart type of 
energy here. Yeah, something that you're needing to make a decision to cut out, to transmute or release. Something that's kind of blocking your forward advancement or your forward growth with that Aries energy. And then we have the in or Libra energy on the day of Aries. Now you have the energy of Cancer coming in on the day of Virgo and Gemini. This could be messages, this could be travel, this could be telecommunications or something along those lines. But there's all about making a decision to cut something off, something that you've been stagnant about making the decision, something that you haven't really been wanting to do. You've been kind of procrastinating on it. But now I think you're coming into the awareness that the time is now. It's like a now or never type of energy. If you don't make the decision now to cut something loose and move forward in your life, you're kind of realizing that it may cause you some stagnancy. So let's see what's going on in the energy of Thursday. You want to follow your dreams. There's dreams and things that you want to follow. There's creative ways of expression that you want to explore. You want to create and do things and be artistic and really show the world what you have to offer. But you feel as if though you have to cut or release yourself from something and move forward towards your own destiny. You don't feel as if though you can. I'm feeling I'm getting this for a lot of energy and I'm just going to say it. I think it's really resonant of the energy vibration that we're in, the energy, um, the kind Cosmo, the astrological transits, and we'll talk about that and the astrological transits that are coming up. It's almost like we're feeling penned between choosing connections or choosing ourselves, not really feeling as if though we can have both. It's like, do I choose to be in a relationship or engage with someone else or do I choose myself over all else? There's an energy of feeling as if though you're going to be trapped or you lose your freedom or your independence or that you can't continue to really pursue your dreams and aspirations if you're in relation with someone else. It's bringing up a conflicting in thought. It's like, yeah, I really have have passion and desire for this relationship. I love this person, but at the same time, I'm feeling as if though I'm sacrificing my own dreams, my own desires, my own destiny in order to fulfill this connection. But is that really true? That's what we're going to look at during this week. So let's see. Yeah, because there's something here that you're destined to accomplish. It's a part of your purpose. It's a part of your destiny. It's dreams and wish fulfillment that's coming in for you. But is there necessarily a sacrifice? Do you have to sacrifice relationship in order to accomplish your dreams? Or can you have relationships that support you, grow with you, and you still can accomplish your dreams? That's the key. So what's coming in on the energy of Saturday? It's Capricorn energy. It's also the energy vibration of Aquarian energy as well. So it's telling you that if you think that there will be continuous heartbreak or that you have to choose between yourself or relationships, then you're going to bring in this conflicting sorrow. There's something here that you have sorrow and sadness about, and maybe it is we're around cutting off this relationship. If you made a decision to cut someone out earlier in the week, or even you made that decision last week or at the end of 2022, and now you're coming into this energy, maybe you're thinking about it, reflecting on it, really trying to figure it out. But what this is bringing up with that Venus squaring Uranus and the moon squaring the sun is there's a conflict between your heart and a conflict between your mind. They're not in alignment and that's what's bringing the sorrow and the grief. So let's see what's the culminating and enlightening energy of Sunday. Independence and stability. There may be the Nestorian energy here. You're more focused on long-term stability. You're more focused on generational wealth. You're more focused on sovereignty and autonomy, maybe, than you are on relationships. So let's see. The driving energy is this energy of resilience, the energy of determination. You want to fulfill your dreams and aspirations. You want to come into the energy of fruition of your self-actualization, right? There's this energy of you wanting to come into the fullest and highest version of yourself. This week is going to be an opportunity for you to really be clear, right? With that 19, with that Leo energy, you're coming into the energy of being very clear about what it is that you desire, what you're willing to commit to, where you're willing to put all of your attention and effort. This is sheer determination and resilience and not giving up. 
and you're not giving up on your creative pursuits and endeavors. You're not cre giving up on your joy, on what it is that you want to manifest, on your aspirations, dreams, and desires. You're not willing to sacrifice that. And that even means if it comes down to relationships. So let's look at the transits and see how this is panning out for you, Leo. And the energy of Monday, it's all about the moon. It's cancer energy. It's an energy that talks about connections and energy exchange. You have Venus trining Mars retrograde in Pisces, which is bringing up a lot of emotional energy for you. It's also an energy of 17, which you're coming to a self-realization or a self-discovery or identification of this energy of what you want to accomplish, who you are, how you're meant to show up in the world. And what you're realizing is to follow your dreams and aspirations is currently conflicting in the energy that you're currently in. It's like this isn't in alignment with my dreams and aspirations. So there's something here that you feel like you need to change. And what you need to change is this indecision or being on the fence. And what I'm getting is this energy of should I stay or should I go? There's this energy of you really trying to determine or decide what is going to be the best best decision for you moving forward when you move into the energy of Tuesday it's an energy vibration of 18 so it's really you going deep into your soul deep into your emotions and really tapping into your intuition identifying what is going to be the best decision for you it's a culminating energy of nine on the day of Aries Libran energy which is really asking you to follow your own fulfillment first if you fulfill your own cup you fulfill Fill what it is that you desire, you won't have resentments as you move forward. And everything that is meant to support you on that plane will meet you where you are. So you don't have to worry about losing something that's meant to be with you on your journey. So that's that energy as the moon enters into Virgo. It's all about your day to day. It's also about working on yourself, learning yourself, developing yourself, and doing what's best for yourself with that Aries energy as well. So the 18 energy breaks down to nine which talks about coming to the full self-actualization and you're doing that through the energy of fulfillment when you move into the energy of wednesday it's an energy of enlightenment it's a 19 day which is all about being enlightened and what you're being enlightened on this day is about the energy of what it is that you want to manifest what it is that you want to create what opportunities, what potential the universe has to offer you. It's a day of 10, which talks about ending out old cycles and brand new beginnings, things moving, things changing, things going forward. So this energy is all about your choice. Because if you're choosing to make the same decisions that you made in the past, you're going to repeat cycles. If you've learned, right, if you've had the enlightenment and you've learned from the past experience as the energy of the Queen of Swords does, very wise, very discerning, very intellectual, very fair and just energy. But it's because you're learning and this is Libra energy as well. You're learning. There's something here that you've learned that gives you the empowerment and the ability to make decisions to help you move forward. Forward. And so that's going to put you on the next path. You're not going to repeat the same cycles. It's going to put you in alignment with your destiny and with your purpose. As you move into the energy of Thursday, Thursday, Mars stations direct, things are going to feel like they're speeding up, right? You're going to have a lot of inspiration and drive towards taking action. And it also is the moon enters into Libra. So one of the things that you may be inspired and drawn to take action on is you may be inspired and drawn to take action on love. Have Having a new beginning in love, opening up and expressing yourself about love, not giving up on love, even though there may have been some energy of heartbreak or sadness in the past, conflicting energy and confusion in the past, making having a difficult decision of choosing what's best for you, what's in alignment with you. But whatever is in alignment for your greatest and highest good will not pass you. And the energy vibration of Thursday is all about judgment. Something may come back around for you to make that final judgment call and that final decision. And it's something that's pulling on your heartstrings, which is the reason why it was a difficult decision to make in the beginning. But you also realizing that you have to make decisions that are in alignment with your destiny, with your purpose. These are hopes, wishes, and dreams and aspirations that are coming true. So there's some kind of wish fulfillment here. And you're being motivated on Thursday to take actions towards what it is that you love. As 
the moon enters into Libra, it's also highlighting and illuminating the energy of connections that's on your destined path, accomplishments and self-actualization that's on your destined path. This is an energy vibration day of 21. So it's an energy of old cycles ending and brand new cycles beginning but it's also an energy of freedom and what you have freedom in is this freedom of self-expression freedom of authenticity showing up in your highest and greatest version being true and authentic to yourself no longer putting on a facade or a mask or feeling as if though you have to be anything or anyone or anything more than what you are it's a realization that i am enough and that's the energy that's coming through and with that motivation and that action you're now willing to take action on what it is that you want to manifest what it is that you want to create what it is that you want to build rather it's in relationships or rather it's in career and finances and personal and professional development when we look at the energy of saturday that's capricornian energy it's all about your status it's all about your um, your persona, how people see you, what you do for career and work. But there's some kind of sadness here. Maybe you don't feel as accomplished as you would like. Maybe whatever this decision is that you need to cut off and let go, you feel as if though it's not allowing you to come into your full fulfillment. This is an energy of independence, autonomy. It's also an energy of self-resilience. Maybe you feel as if though you haven't been able to reach full self-actualization because you been dealing with relationships or things of the heart that's going to weigh out differently for each and every one of you but i'm really feeling that universally we're being torn between having connections that are supportive and uplifting and make us still feel free and independent and that we're growing versus having relationships that make us feel kind of boxed in oppressed or unable to be ourselves or show up authentically or not be able to follow your pursuit or your passions and maybe it has something to do with well if I have the family and I have this and that how can I then travel across the country and do something completely different or travel across the world and really do something that I've always wanted to do when I have this pan family that depends on me or I have these obligations and responsibilities and this business and whatever it is that you feel that you need to accomplish or these responsibilities and commitments that you already have is making this this decision very difficult for you it's all about determination it's an energy of 22 there's infinite opportunities potentials and possibilities opening up but for some reason you have a lot of heartbreak sorrow and sadness that is related to it and i'm thinking it has to do with choices that you've made in the past especially in the recent past especially if you cut someone off earlier in the week as you made the decision to follow doesn't mean that you're not going to have grief about it there still will be grief about it but you'll be able to persevere based on your determination and your commitment to continue to work on yourself build and establish yourself so you're just going to go through that conflicting energy on Saturday into Sunday. And then on Sunday, you have the energy of 23. You have the energy of coming into your own personal power, taking back control of your life based on your choices. And you're making the decision to commit. So what you're choosing to commit to is long term stability, autonomy, your business, your personal, as well as your financial and um career and business growth and development you're really choosing to commit to work on yourself build yourself the Torian energy so that you can have long-term accomplishments long-term gain long-term stability but you really want to come into that energy of self-fulfillment and self-actualization so let's go ahead and look and see what your message of advice and your journaling prompt is for this week beautiful leo what messages do you have for Leo Spirit in reference to the energy vibration for January the 9th through the 15th of 2023? And just remember that you want to write down your journaling prompt and you want to evaluate each one of the days and what kind of insights and information it is giving you in reference to that journaling prompt so you can make the best decisions for yourself moving forward. You also want to use your affirmations and the messages that are coming through. You can say those affirmations every single day to help you to transmute and change and release energy and to help you to come into further alignment and attunement. And then also 
the energy of your soul work. You can do it once a week, several times a week, or you can do it every day during the week. Whatever is going to feel the most comfortable for you because it is all about your individual soul work. And what the amount of work and effort that you put in is what you're going to get out. So your messages of advice and your journaling prompt. When peace is your priority, negativity cannot exist. How can I see through the eyes of source energy and prioritize your inner peace? How can you prioritize your inner peace, beautiful Leo? Let's take a look at your affirmation and the energy of rest and rejuvenation for 19. It's coming in as an epiphany, a realization of where you need to put your time, energy, and effort, and that's on yourself, healing yourself, resting, rejuvenating. This card shows a man in a meditative and tranquil state. The message here is that it is time to relax. You have been busy lately, but you should soon be finding more time to just let go. When you do, allow yourself to go within and open up to the peace and wisdom that are vibrating there. This card indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking. So make it a priority. Your connection to spirit brings greater assistance, but it can only be achieved through regular relaxation and meditation. Now is a great time to make sure you insert this gentle activity into your daily life in many ways. This is far more productive than uneasy action. So your journaling prompt for the week, beautiful soul. I make relaxation a part of my daily life. Peace and quiet bring me clarity and joy. Affirm it in the comment section, beautiful soul. So let's take a look at your soul work. What is the soul work for the beautiful soul sign of Leo? What does Leo need to do during the week to help transmute and change any block energy and to align to more true meaning and purpose in life? What are the messages for the beautiful soul sign of Leo for July the 9th through the 15th, 2023? And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. You have the energy of act rather than wait. Act rather than wait. Today's lesson. Think about something that you've been waiting for. Are you waiting for someone to come into your life? For the perfect job or salary? For all of your prayers to be answered without having to do anything to help them along the way? What does waiting do to your stress level? What your goal is for this week is to recognize that waiting rather than taking action is stressful and unproductive. Waiting versus taking action is stressful and unproductive. And I'm really, really getting that energy here. I felt like there was something that you've been failing to take action on that has been causing you more of an internal turmoil than it has been causing you calm and peace. But in the beginning of the week, you're realizing what you need to take action on. And by the end of the week, you're choosing to take action on building more stability and more um, uh, a more of a personal foundation for your personal and professional development and growth. That has been your energy vibration for the week, beautiful Leo. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am honored and I am truly grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this video with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn grow and expand together, working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant week. Namaste.